Decomposing fractions might be the key to your students mastering fractions. To decompose means to break apart. It's important that students make connections between whole numbers and fractions when decomposing numbers. They can take their understanding of decomposing a whole number and use that to decompose any fractions. One example of this connection is the whole number nine and the fraction nine twelfths. We want students to think if the number nine can be decomposed into a sum of four plus four plus one, then the fraction nine twelfths can also be decomposed into the sum of four twelfths plus four twelfths plus one twelfth. A great place to start is with unit fractions, which is any fraction with a numerator of one. Looking at the example 7 tenths, you can decompose 7 tenths into a sum of unit fractions. The unit fraction for 7 tenths is 1 tenth. How many 1 tenths need to be combined to make 7 tenths? Just like 7 ones combined make up the number 7, 7 1 tenths combined make up the fraction 7 tenths. One major benefit of spending time on decomposing fractions is that it helps to avoid the misconception of adding denominators. Students who see fractions as composed of smaller parts develop the understanding that when they add or subtract fractions, the numerator describes the count of pieces and the denominator describes the piece. Next, you can connect these unit fractions to non-unit fractions, which are any fractions with a numerator greater than one. The one-tenths can be combined in different ways to represent seven-tenths, one way being four-tenths plus three-tenths. Let's look at this next example where the fraction 10 fourths is decomposed into a sum of non-unit fractions. Fractions don't have to be decomposed using only unit fractions or only non-unit fractions. There can be a combination of both. Give students opportunities to come up with as many ways as they can think of to decompose a fraction into a sum of fractions. And remember to give students plenty of experience decomposing mixed numbers into a sum of fractions as well. Whole numbers can be decomposed in different ways such as with all ones or rewritten as fractions equal to one. Try out these practice problems yourself before teaching this skill to your child or group of students.